This is a new idle game where you become a beekeeper and turn your computer monitor into a rainbow of bees, joyfully buzzing around, making honey, and making you money, whether you're actively playing or have the game closed. Grow your bee colony by buying packs of bees, feeding them flowers bursting with juicy pollen, and leveling up your bees to earn your hive a fortune, or you can sell them to make room for new bees. Purchase new hives and try to collect all of the bees while your stress buzzes away. Today, we'll take a look at the demo version of the upcoming Cozy Idol game, Time is Honey. This is our brand new beehive. It's a forest hive. You can rename it here if you would like. We're just gonna keep it called forest hive. You buy your bees here in the shop. When you begin the game, at least the demo version, you get a free pack of bees. You'll be able to purchase upgrades and different hives here as well, but we are very poor right now. We have 320 coins. Let's open our free pack. I love the sound effects. First one is a common, another common, and an uncommon. And then if we want to feed them, we can right click. You can just hold it. It doesn't appear to cost anything to feed them. And feeding them is how they level up. You also can just click on one bee and feed just that one bee. So if you don't want the others eating and leveling up, I don't know why other than I guess you would get the food concentrated on just the bee you want to level up. And then we can click on each bee. So our common baby bee, we don't know what kind of bee it is, I'm guessing. As soon as he levels up all the way to the right here, he will probably become a juvenile bee. I'm not sure what the nomenclature is going to be for that. This one I think is my favorite. This is our uncommon, our little pink one. And the nice thing is because it's an idle game, I could totally just go and leave my computer, leave this open, especially if you have another monitor and it won't hurt the game. You guys have these cute bees hanging out on your monitor, almost like a live screensaver. That's what I loved about Chill Aquarium. You have unlocked Uncommon Flower Bee. Oh, hello. Oh, you're cute. Oh, an adult. So how these games work is when they grow up, they make you money. Don't question how, they just do. This bee makes us 2.6 coins per hour. Or we can sell for 26 coins doesn't seem worth it. Now I'm guessing these guys, since they are common, they're going to make us less. Oh, here we go. We have unlocked our common honeybee. 1.6 per hour. Now let's go up here and see what else we have in our collections, our bee cyclopedia. There's our honeybee. Oh, there are golden variants of each one. And then you can wishlist the game on Steam, join their Discord, and there are some game settings as well if you want to adjust the music and the sounds, ambient effects, uh, FPS, and windowed mode or not. Or you can reset your progress. I wouldn't recommend that. Or you can exit the game that way too. Now, notice we have made four cents already. For 80 coins, we can buy ourselves a forest pack. We can't buy the beach pack yet because we don't have anything else unlocked. It looks like there's a way to upgrade the food and honey. Bees make more honey. Oh, so the honey must be what they are producing in order to make us money. That makes more sense because the fish game, I never knew what the fish were making to make us money. I just didn't question it. But these are bees, so they're making us honey and making money. There is a forest hive we can buy, more hives, I assume. That's pretty expensive. And then a beach hive. Let's just start with a forest pack. Common, uncommon, uncommon. 
We're just gonna keep buying them. Ooh, we have our first rare. Nice. That's the last one we can buy. Let's take a look at all our bees. Aw, what is this one? Tier one uncommon. Why are they missing their faces? I don't know. Look at this one, looks like a duck. That's our rare. Oh, and just like the fish game, I know I keep comparing this to Chilquarium, but it is very much built on the same premise. You can lock a bee that you don't want to accidentally sell. And that I would highly recommend. If you get one that you really like or is really valuable, go ahead and lock it. I'm not gonna lock these guys. They're not really worth a whole lot, even though they're kind of cute. Pardon the interruption from Time is Honey, but since I keep making so many comparisons between Chillquarium and Time is Honey, I wanted to give you a brief look at Chillquarium. I did make a video on it, but most of you probably have not seen it. This is Chillquarium, and I haven't played it for a couple weeks, and I have earned $236 billion while I was away. That's billion, right? Hundreds, thousands, millions, billions. Yes, that is billion. The first thing you might notice about this game, other than the fact that my aquarium is way overcrowded, we don't have to worry about the nitrogen cycle. We can feed them as much as we want. They can poop as much as they want and you don't have to worry about too much ammonia or nitrites or nitrates. But anyhow, you might notice my money. The amount of money I have and how fast it is increasing. That is because I have leveled up my fish. And there goes the music. The music is sporadic in this game. But you also have up to, I think, six aquariums. And I have five in this one. We can go to a saltwater aquarium here and just take a look. Let me pick this fish right here. This one fish earns me a billion dollars a day. It's insane how this game just skyrockets exponentially the more you play. And then we'll go to my other tank. This is where I'm housing my golden fish. Like the bee game, there are golden versions of the fish. There are also rainbow versions. The golds are hard to get, but not as hard as the rainbows. Let me just show you really quickly the collection. You have your commons, painteds, goldens. I still have a lot of goldens to get, but they're very difficult to get. And then rainbows, like I said, those are very tough. I only have, I think, one on this computer. But then you also have your store. This is where you buy your fish packs. And there are different packs you can have depending on the aquarium you have. Freshwater, there's marine dwellers, giants, rivers and ponds, and reef fish. You also have different colored pebbles you can buy, lighting, aquarium upgrades, and decor. So... As far as I can tell, Chillquarium has more depth to it. <laughs> I didn't intend that to be a pun. But Time is Honey is certainly an adorable game. I just wanted to show you that there was something else similar to it, but yet a bit different at the same time. Now back to your regularly scheduled program. Our rare guy is almost going to blossom into an adult. We have our duck bee. This guy earns us 7.2 coins per hour. Now, if we go into our collection, here's our duck bee. These must be, yeah, we have our commons. These are our uncommons. These are the green ones. The rares will be here in red. That means we have three more rare to find, as well as golden variants of each. And then I'm guessing these are legendary, the pink here. And then we repeat the process for the beach hive. And I'm wondering if once this game releases, there will be more hives as well. I'm just gonna keep feeding these guys for a while. We can't buy anything more until we get 80 coins. Oh my goodness, that's gonna be a while. I think my strategy is going to be anything that is common 
for right now, we're just going to sell it because that'll earn us 16 coins and get us closer to a new pack. So we're going to sell this guy and this guy. These guys are still babies. Are uncommon here. Oh, now this is interesting. How much do you think she will earn us once she gets to level two? Let's feed her and find out. Now she is on level two, and instead of 260, she makes us 364 an hour. It would take me quite a long time to earn these 78 coins. Oh, hey, look, we have another common. We're going to hit OK on that. And our acorn bee is grown. I wondered if that was an acorn. It's a little bit peculiar. They have no face. <laughs> and we have unlocked our common sweet bee. We're going to sell our flower bee. She's really cute, but she's not that rare. I know we'll get more. We're going to sell her. And then we have enough to buy a new pack. This guy only sells for nine coins. We're going to do it. We're just going to sell them. The sweet bee, we're also going to sell for nine coins. And how about our acorn bee? Our acorn is an uncommon. We can sell for 18. Common, common, and we have a new rare. This must be our new rare. Is this a ninja bee? Oh my goodness, he's cute. We're going to level him up. Actually, let's level them all up. I actually walked away from the computer for a few minutes. I have an Xbox controller sitting on the mouse button and a cup pinning my mouse from moving. <laughs> and all of the bees are nicely huddled around my flowers. Let's go ahead and check our progress. We've unlocked the mushroom bee. I think, yeah, that's just a common one. I'm going to take my controller off now. That works nicely. Let's check out our mushroom bee. Mushroom bee, we're going to sell all of these guys that are not rare or above. It's almost time. 72 to 216. I am sorry, little duck. I like you, but I don't know. Did we sell them? I'm torn. 10 coins an hour. Or do we sell it for 216? Well, we're selling that guy for sure. Although, we can easily level this guy up. Do you see how this is addicting? I am going to pause it and walk away from my computer and I will check back with you all in a bit. We are now back. We are up to 72 coins and it looks like we have unlocked our worm bee. That is slightly terrifying. <laughs> I could sell her, but I don't know. I'm intrigued by how terrifying this one is. Let's see how our ninja bee is doing. Oh, look. We're getting closer. 115 coins. But no, we have got to keep the ninja bee. I mean, the ninja bunny is my channel mascot. The ninja bee is just awesome. <laughs> Look at the little katana. Is that what that is? It's some sort of slicing tool there at its side. We have leveled up several of our bees now, including, where is it? We have a rare leaf bee. If we go into our collections and scroll all the way up to the top here we have three of our four rares already discovered the duck the leaf and the ninja i would love to know what this one is and we have one of the legendaries this guy right here is taking forever to level up but we have leveled these to two we're going to sell some of these commons and uncommons and see if we can buy some more packs level two the wolf bee sorry buddy you're gone this one too, the acorn bee, and then we're going to keep our rares. And I know this one's only an uncommon, but I really like that worm bee, so 
That one's staying too. We now have 307 coins. We're going to buy a couple packs here. Common, common, uncommon. Wait a minute, I see a pink one. Nope, it's a red one. Rare, a ninja bee, and then an uncommon flower bee. I do want one of the flower bees too. That one's really cute. And, oh, we have enough for one more. Okay, another worm bee. We'll sell one of them. And a bush bee. I like the bush bee too. I want one of every bee. That is my goal in this game. We are going to go ahead and one more time sell some of the commons here. Even though they're not worth a lot, that's actually enough to buy one more pack. This is going to be our last pack for today. Give us something good. No! Okay, we didn't get anything really good. But let's just take a look at our variety that we have here. I'm really excited to check out the other legendary bees and I have no idea what more content we are going to get because there's already quite a bit of content in this demo. And the full release should be coming within the next few months. It said quarter one of 2024, which is now. But I think that is going to be where we end the first look of this demo of Time is Honey an adorable creature collector and idol game. Let me know in the comments below if you would like to see another video on this once I unlock some more bees, or if you would like to see the full release of this. And also let me know if you think this is a game that you could see yourself playing to relax and try to collect the adorable bees. I really love this. And if you like cute and cozy and unusual sim and survival games, please consider subscribing to the channel. And I will see you cozy game lovers next time.